In this question, we're going to talk about Zheng's Lawn. Zheng's Lawn is a rectangle measuring 20 meters by 12 meters. Well, what Zheng wants to do is dig up some of that lawn in order to make a sidewalk of uniform width all around. We want to know how wide that walkway will be given that he can afford 60 meters squared of cement. Well, we're going to draw a picture of his lawn. Okay? His lawn is the big outer rectangle, and it's 20 meters by 12 meters. Okay? Well, um, we know that he's going to dig up some grass, so the interior of the lawn is going to be dug up somewhat in order to allow for the sidewalk to, uh, to come in. And so all of this outer frame portion right here, that is the walkway. That's the cement walkway. Okay. Well, we want to know what the dimensions are of that cement walkway. So, we know that since the uh, long side here is 20, and we know that since we're eliminating x from every dimension, we know that basically what we've got is um, 20 along the top minus an x minus another x to give us this shorter line. Well, if you have 20 along the top and you subtract an x and subtract another x, what you've really got now is 20 minus 2x. So we see that this dotted line on the inside, this blue one, has a length of 20 minus 2x. Okay, well how about the other way? Well, we see that this is 12, but he's cutting out um, a sidewalk of uniform width. He's cutting a piece of x units long and x units long off of each side. So this dotted blue line will be 12 minus an x minus an x. So it'll be 12 minus 2x. So what we see is that this interior piece right here is 20 minus 2x times 12 minus 2x. And this outer piece is 20 times 12. Okay. So this is our diagram. Uh, just shrunk it down a little bit. And we see that for the outer rectangle, the area, 20 times 12, is 240. Now, we know that the sidewalk is going to be 60. That was stated in the question. So the sidewalk has an area of 60. Okay? Now, we know that the outer rectangle is 240. And we know that the sidewalk itself is 60. So this red, shaded in red frame is 60. Well, that means that the interior one right here, this inner blue one, must be the area of the outer one, which is 240, minus the area of the frame, which is 60. So 240 minus 60 is 180. So what we have is an interior rectangle with an area of 180 that's 12 minus 2x by 20 minus 2x. So in other words, the area of this interior one, 20 minus 2x times 12 minus 2x, equals 180. Okay, so just to explain that verbally a bit more, we know the inner rectangle's area is equal to 12 minus 2x times 20 minus 2x, and since we just established that that area is 180 for the inner rectangle, we have 12 minus 2x times 20 minus 2x equals 180. Okay, 12 minus 2x times 20 minus 2x equals 180. Well, what we can now do is solve this equation. Uh, 12 times 20 is 240. 12 times negative 2x is negative 24x. Negative 2x times 20 is negative 40x. Negative 2x times negative 2x is positive 4x squared, and it equals 180. Well, we... Um, reorder um, our terms, 4x squared minus 64x. We have plus 240, but we're going to subtract 180 from the other side to let it equal 0. So we're going to have 4x squared minus 64x plus 60 equals 0. Well, what we want to do now is factor that, and we always start with common factoring. Common factor first, okay? CFF. CFF is your BFF. All right. Well, when we do that, we get um, we have to come up with two numbers that um, add to negative 16 and multiply to positive 15. And those two numbers are negative 15 and negative 1. 
So we see that 4 times x minus 15 times x minus 1 equals 0. That means uh, finding our zeros would mean that x equals 15 or x equals 1. And this is an extraneous solution. And the reason it's extraneous is you can't chop 15 meters on each side of a lawn when the this length is only 12 and this one's only 20. You couldn't cut 15 meters from each side in that triangle, or sorry, in that rectangle. So it must be that this uh, width that was cut off here was one meter. Okay? And so our final answer is x equals one and therefore the sidewalk is one meter wide.